Hey everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for you guys. This one is going to be on Gaston, and with the score challenge coming up, I figured I'd put this up and just kind of go over a couple things with you guys real quick. Now, Gaston's probably going to be your go-to guy for this score challenge because we're restricted to Beauty and the Beast Tsum Tsum, and the fact that his ability allows him to be the only guy on screen, uh, it means that you can level him to 50 really easily, and on top of that, all of your score is going to come just from clearing him, so so even if your support Tsum Tsum are a little bit weaker, it doesn't matter as long as you do level him up a little bit. Now, those are all the great benefits, the awesomeness of Gaston. Uh, but now that everyone's had a, a week or so to play around with him, you've probably noticed that there are some drawbacks as well. Namely, that his chain snags for no reason whatsoever. I have not played a single game so far where I haven't had at least one chain interrupted for no reason whatsoever. I've stayed away from the margins. I've avoided what gaps I noticed. It still happens. So, uh, this may have occurred to you as well. And that is why I wanted to put up this really bad gameplay video of Gaston. This, this was just a horrible, horrible game. All of what I just said happened. I've had my chains interrupted at the worst time even, having other Tsum Tsum come up on screen and you know it didn't ruin the game in the end. I think we were able to clear almost 2,000 Gastons in this game uh, because the strategy with this is again to go for time bubbles after you drop out of Gaston special time. And there's three main benefits to this. One, obviously if you're going for time bubbles you're going to extend your gameplay which means you're going to get the higher scores two when you go for time bubbles you're automatically going to have more magic bubbles on your screen so even if your chain gets interrupted and drops you out of uh, Gaston uh, special time at the like worst possible moment you know your fever time expires and everything just the worst time and you start getting other Tsum Tsum on screen all of that at least you're going to have a few more magic bubbles to clean that up so you won't have to forfeit your game uh, and finally the other awesome benefit of using the strategy is because if you're breaking up the large chain into three smaller ones uh, chances are it's going to be easier for you to avoid dropping your combo and again guys if you have a combo of 40 or higher when you're in fever time it is going to give you a better score the combo does affect your score so if you don't drop it again it's going to help you do better in the score challenge so uh, enjoy the video guys again this is a horrible game a horrible game but I just wanted to show you that despite this uh, poor gameplay and the fact that my chains got interrupted repeatedly it's like I was getting punished for something I don't know what it was but anyways uh, the time bubble strategy kind of helped me stay with it and we ended up doing relatively well and I hope that if you guys do use the strategy it's going to help you in the score challenge and you guys are going to do a really good as well so let me know what you guys think in the comments section below if you have any questions comments also leave it down there and uh, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time